In this clip, we are going to create an assignment. So from your folder menu, if you click on the word assignment, add materials, add assignment. And this task is on page 20, just for reference. I am going to call this Math 1. For a description, I'm going to say 34 variable and verbal expressions with answer key. And I'm going to upload a file. So we click on the file upload. This is the file called variable and verbal expressions that I sent with your training link. So wherever you've saved that, let's go ahead and upload it to this window. Now you have some other options here. You can create a link. You can import resources from your filing cabinet. You can record audio or video. And you can link to an external tool. So all of those are options for creating this assignment. You can import things from Google Drive and OneDrive. But I just uploaded a file. Now, the thing about this, students are going to have to be able to download the file, so it needs to be in a form they can access, and then they're going to be able, or need to be able, to upload their response back to you. This is one of the tricky things about assignments. Your students are going to need some digital skills to be able to work with these. So just be able or be sure that they are able to do what they need to to get the material back to you. You can set a due date. I'm going to create a new category. Actually, I already have it. It's called assignment, but you can create a new one if you want. The grading period defaults. You can change the factor and rubric if you want. We're going to talk a little bit later about aligning. These are the same. You can individually assign. You can lock the assessment. You can allow submissions or turn off submissions. You can publish or unpublish. And then you have some other things. You can enable comments if you want. Look at statistics. These are the same options that we've had pretty much. So create your assessment. To view it, you just click on the title of the assessment, which is Math 1. And this is how it would appear to your students. So they would download the file. This is a very good activity, by the way. If you don't already have this one, you might want to and I cut the answer key off. I'm not sure how that happened, but this is a good activity if you teach algebra. So the students would download the file, they would complete the, the file, the activity, and then upload it back to you. There is another option for uploading, and I'll tell you a little bit about that on page 20. It's the Rocketbook system. And if you're not familiar with Rocketbook, if you go to our staff resource binder that we joined a little bit earlier in this course, your Tools for Teachers has a whole section about Rocketbook. It tells you what it is, how to get it, and how to use it. But basically, Rocketbook allows students to take a picture of the assignment with their cell phones, and then the Rocketbook app will route that to, to teacher's email. So it's a very easy way for them to submit things to you using their cell phone or their tablet. So if you're interested in that, it's in the staff resources binder that we uploaded a little bit earlier. OK, back to our current course. There's the assignment. Students can interact with it and then attach them and return them somehow.